Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois and we're answering your questions. I'm thrilled to be here with Dr. Patrick McCarthy. Dr. McCarthy, thanks for being thanks, with Adam. us. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for having me here. He is the Executive Director of the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute at Northwestern Medicine here in Chicago. Dr. McCarthy, we have a question from Pam. She writes in, Adam, I had robotic mitral valve surgery in January. Although I'm feeling good, I still have lingering symptoms of pump head. Hmm double vision, floaters in my vision, fuzziness. My question is, what exactly causes pump head and what is happening in my brain when I'm, expect when I'm experiencing these post-surgery symptoms? So pump head is this kind of vague term that people throw around and they have for years. Um, first of all, I'd recommend that Pam see a neurologist about this because what she's describing is actually quite unusual that people would have that that early. Many years ago, they did a study and they did very sophisticated testing before surgery and then at time of discharge. And they found out that people didn't do as well on their neurologic tests. No surprise. They just had an anesthetic. They had a lot of narcotics. They repeated the test at six weeks and then the study showed they were back to baseline. And so they came up with this pump head idea that they were kind of confused because of the pump as if it was a heart-lung machine. Other studies after that sort of debunked that myth that people get that from narcotics and that it wasn't so much related to the heart-lung machine. We still hear about it all the time, though. People ask us about it. And if people do have any sort of lingering concern, I do suggest that they see somebody. There could be something else going on. Great. Well, Dr. McCarthy, thanks for taking the time to share your clinical experiences and okay. answering Pam's question. Pam, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me. And thanks again, Dr. McCarthy. Okay, thank you, Adam.